All right, it is six o'clock and I will call the ninth regular common council meeting to order. Will the clerk please state the quote of the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. All right, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Here. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Here. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perello. Here. Alderperson Salazar. Here. Alderperson Rust. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. There are 10 present. All right. If you're able, can you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, uh, item number three, approval of the minutes from our July 18th meeting, Alder Feldy. I move to approve. Second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any, ob any objection? Minutes are approved. Uh, next is resignations, city attorney. There is one resignation from the city plan commission, John Matiska, effective immediately. Alder Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objection? That item is approved. Next is mayoral appointments, city attorney. One appointment, the mayor submits the following appointment for your con confirmation, Alder Joe Heideman to be considered for appointment to the Maywood Environmental Park Advisory Board. All right, and that item will lay over. Anyone for public forum, city clerk? There's no one this evening. All right, then we'll jump right into mayor's announcements. All right, good evening everyone. Just a few quick announcements. Obviously this week um, is, this weekend, upcoming weekend is Brat Days. Um, Sheboygan is the Bratwurst capital of the world. So I know the JCs have been working diligently um, to put on this event. So uh, the event will take place at Kiwanis Park Friday and Saturday. Um, the parade will start this Saturday at 9 a.m. It will start downtown going up 8th Street, going uh, then across to Michigan Avenue. Um, on Tuesday, tomorrow, is National Night Out, um, which will be at End Park this year. National Night Out um, is for the Sheboygan area to come out and send a great message for a neighborhood to express unity, awareness, and safety for a police community partnership. Um, so it's just a great event, food trucks. A lot of our first responders will be down there. So um, hope to see you down there at End Park. Starts at 4.30. The walk will be at 6.30 um, and go about uh, 7.30 as well. Um, August 14th is Esslingen Fest um, at Three Sheeps this year. So that'll be from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, this is our 55 year anniversary of being uh, sister city partners with our friends over in Esslingen. So um, this will be a great event to showcase um, our sister city as well. Um, just wanna give a few shout outs um, and thank uh, Chief, uh, Fire Chief Montiano um, and Battalion Chief Long Miller um, and the assistant chiefs as well at the fire department and the entire B-Shift crew. Um, I got to spend the day with the fire department on Thursday doing some ride-alongs and just being in bed um, with the whole department uh, throughout that day, um, being with them on their trainings um, as well. So it was really good. So thanks, Chief, for that. Um, Jody Kramer from the Memorial uh, neighborhood um, just would come on up here. Um, oh, yep, come here. Um, just uh, wants to say a few words uh, to some of our team members. Jody? <laughs> Hello, my name is Jody Kramer and I'm with the Memorial Neighborhood Association. Um, and I just wanna say on June 15th, as we all have experienced, that there is a scary night for a lot of our homeowners as well as in our neighborhood and surrounding neighbors. Um, large trees and branches were coming down onto properties to cause a lot of damage. Um, I was quite impressed by the quick response of the DPW workers as well as the other tree services that came to our aid to help us, uh, to help the homeowners do a prompt quick cut and remove trees um, and to work along with the various utility companies that, that um, help to restore service. Um, with Neighbors Helping Neighbors, we show our appreciation to you for all the hard work 
that was encountered by the work of Mother Nature. So I say thank you from the neighborhoods of Aureth, North Point, and Memorial Neighborhood Associations, as well as all the other neighborhood neighbors that were affected. So thank you for all your hard work and appreciation from us. Thank you. Thank you, Jody, for, for those kind words on behalf of those neighborhood associations, especially um, as a lot of the elders know, the Northeast uh, part of the city was um, impacted uh, tremendously by the storms um, in, in June. Um, I know our, our DPW teams have been working diligently. I, th I believe a lot of the sidewalks um, are pretty much repaired. So with that, we'll go get back to our regular scheduled program. Thanks, everyone. Next, we'll go to the consent agenda. Alder Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. All right. Are, is there any discussion for any of the items on the consent agenda, items 9 through 19? Alder Heideman. Thank you, Mayor. Um, this has to deal with number nine. And again, I want to thank the mayor for allowing me to address the common council. I've been around for about four months and I truly appreciate the time and efforts my fellow members put into the completion or the, the completing their responsibilities. A couple of weeks ago, the city pay plan was on the agenda to, go, to be voted to go forward. At that time, I felt not having an HR director in place was a disadvantage. So we sent it back to committee, which I believe was a good idea. Carlson Detman Consulting has provided us with the information to make a decision with or without an HR director. We have heard over and over that it's about the position not all the positions, even with the same name, have the matching duties. I believe the explanations have been given at the, that were given at the last finance meeting gave us a better insight to the process. We should be able to make a decision. I do have one exception. I want the library taken out of the pay plan. The board, their board has the ability to establish their own wage scales and meet the needs of their employees and the city will continue to support the library. I just don't think it's a good thing having them in that pay plan. I, I appreciate uh, you listening and, and I hope we, in the future we can go forward and, and remove them from that. Okay. Thank you, Alder Heideman. Any other discussion on any of the items on the consent agenda? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Please refer to your muni code. Alder Heideman. Aye. Ten eyes. All right. The consent agenda is approved. Next, we'll jump into report of officers. Item number 20, RO number 4522-23 by the Board of Water Commission Submitting a copy of the lead service laterals replacement program update for the Sheboygan Water Utility. Alder Feldy. I make a motion to accept and file. Second. Motion second. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, this is a voice vote. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Any objection? That item is approved. Items 21 through 25 will be referred to their respective committees. Next is resolutions. Item 26 through 32 will be referred to their respective committees. I will jump to reports of committees. 
Items 33, Parsi number 6122-23 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 4022-23 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski, authorizing a transfer from the 2022 budget from the contingency to the Department of Public Works to fund the unexpected replacement of the Lecta Robotic Total Station. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the IRC and adopt the resolution. Second. It's been a motion second. Any discussion on this item? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor, please vote on your muni code. Alder Feldy? Aye. Alder Heideman? Aye. Ten ayes. That item is approved. Next is item 34 RC number 6222-23 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 4222-23 by Alder Persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski authorizing a transfer of the 2022 budget from the contingency to the police department for the unanticipated repairs from the bursted sprinkler pipe. Recommends adopting the resolution. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the IRC and adapt the resolution. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Alder Heidemann? Aye. Alder Feldy? Aye. Ten ayes. That item is approved. Item number 35, RC number 63 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 43 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Felicia Paneski, authorizing a budget amendment to pay for the hiring of the engagement coordinator for the Senior Services Department. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the IRC and adopt the resolution. Second. Been a motion second. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Alder Feldy? Aye. Alder Heideman? Aye. Ten ayes. <clears throat> that item is approved. Items 37 and 36 will be referred to their respective committees. We've exhausted the agenda. Alder Feldy. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objection? We're adjourned at 613. Thanks, everyone. <coughs>